it's me! What do you mean, who? Mr. P. Git Esquire! Here I am, outside Betty's, my favourite place where I like to go with my chums for a cup of tea and a nice fat rascal. It only costs me £12.45 each time I do it. Great fun, yes! Anyway, I'm taking you on a jolly good speaking tour of York. So then, I'll see you later. Tatty bye! It was a peaceful time for the inhabitants of the planet Matrix. Terrible plans are being laid. Terrible evil plans. Asag and Boffin have escaped from their cells. Those bungalows. You've got to stay, Simone. Tell me more. I cannot tell you more without my pain. I've told you. I have nothing left. Then farewell. <laughs> Have I done? Leela! Help me! Is that you, Tom? You alright? Tom? Oh no, it's Tom. He's dead. It's constant. It's, constant. Um, it's, it's a constant, constant very colourful roller coaster of emotions. And joy, and hatred, and deep, deep love beyond measure. Um, and when you get through the hard days, the hard years, um, it's all worth it. The stink is horrible when you come in. You know, the sewerage, there's stuff from the garage, you know, petrol, diesel, oil, um, as well as what there is in the roads. Snails. Snails. We, oh, we got, a, we got a little eel last time. We found a little eel in the porch. Now, what if I was to say to you now that it's more or less definite, it's definite, that this school is closing, especially this school is closing, OK? Well, so what do we need to do? Let's think positively. If this is going to happen, this is not something we're discussing now. What have we got to do with the mainstream school to make it better for all students? What are we going to do? I think schools should offer help and advice. I think schools should have more one-to-one -one support. I'd like to go to college. I think schools should provide food, fun and lots of it. If there's someone that isn't, wants to talk to somebody about something they don't want to share, there's someone there for advice. I think schools should be more accessible. Because we're in care, people just think we're all evil little kids. We're all bad. 
think about it. If your family owns, say, a shop or a company, then you'd have the opportunity of going to work for your parents, wouldn't you? The council is supposed to be our corporate parents. Why can't we work for the council, which is the family business? <laughs> Dreamed of adventures at sea, keeping trees in at bay. But now you're tuning into musical piracy. Cover those bills you got to pay. Obviously, one way in which it should develop, I think, and probably create a bit of uh, well, I like the kind of public event which makes people more aware of it in York. But I mean, the important thing is to find ways of carrying on, and we're certainly going to do that. is about the hands and voices choir. The choir is unique in Britain. They combine signs, symbols and the sung words to aid communication between those with speech and language problems and the audience. It's to do with um, involvement and, and sincerity and that's what you see when you see this choir sing. You know, that's, that's the important thing in, in art. It really is. Anyway, I, I went along to this rehearsal in the Groves and I was absolutely spellbound by the, the uh, enthusiasm and the, and, and, and the life that was coming out of, the, uh, out of the choir. I mean, special music had been written for them but, uh, I mean, for somebody who's involved in, in performance, you know, to see such spontaneity was absolutely fantastic. I like other songs, but my favourite one is um, Into the Ark You Must Go. Into the ark you must go before the storm begins to blow Side by side, fair and fear, two by two, in together In together Then cut, cut, cut them clean Making the balls with ones between Three hundred, three, three, three hundred Cubits it shall be long! <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, all right, Claire. Um, well, I don't know what Rose and Rob's done with all the bloody money, but they certainly haven't stuck it into the studios. I think what we're doing is we're having 32-track digital recording in that corner, and then we're having a video suite in that corner, <laughs> and in this corner here, we've got the office. Anyway, I'd better show you around, haven't I? That's how simple it is to set the system. Just press the remote control. Yes, that activates all the sensors in the property. And the zoning button on the wall turns off the upstairs sensor so that he doesn't trigger it himself by getting up in the night. What's the link between this and this? And why did a city full of these decide it was time for one of these? We've got 200 years of coal and we've got hardly any gas or oil. That garden lawn are going to be a thing of the past. We'll look back and say, my God, how do we allow this to go on? We live in a disposable society, and that's the problem. The ones that are left behind say, oh, well, I don't care, I won't be here, it doesn't matter. If I say I'll meet you at 10, do I mean 10 in the morning or 10 at night? Simple, says I. If I mean 10 in the morning, I say 10 a.m. If I mean 10 at night, I say 10 p.m. <laughs> oh, you're back. So, how did you solve the problem? It was easy. 10 divides by 5 exactly. So, one fifth of 10 is two biscuits each. 10? But there were 12 biscuits. What happened to the other two biscuits? Well, I ate them, of course. Mm. I will now show you the Rangoon rat catcher and close the case. Ouch! Oh, it turns out that the Rangoon rat catcher is a rather enormous snake. I do hope it's not venomous. Oh, and what's this? Another letter from Mortimer, of course. 